Monday morning. The Corvus is there. This was in a cardboard box. It's a piece of metal. Some holes either end. It came with it in a cardboard box. Does anyone know where it goes or what it's for? It's roughly the same width as the deck, but don't know what it does. If anyone knows, let me know below. Loads of people keep asking what it is, so I'll just flip the camera. It's the Corvus Terrain DX4 cab, 1000. Go. It's got a little boot here as well. Ta da! And you can put the tow bar on the front and the back. First load of OSR for the day, we're expecting a few more. Come in, that's come from Wales. The rubber seal had come off his back door as it tipped, so I just went to get the bucket to try and find it. Anyway, he'd found a little bit of it and pulled it out while I was waiting. So, this is a load from Pembrokeshire in Wales from Tom Reese's. Looks a cleaner sample out of a Lexian than it does out of a New Holland over there. So that wagon is getting ready to leave and just spied another wagon coming down the road. I think it's just arriving in the yard. This is the second load from Pembrokeshire. There it is. Remember that rap that had gone wrong? I don't mean like singing and rapping. I mean the wrap that we put on here because it's expanded. Well, it's still in here. One of them's sort of gone back to normal and the other one has like got worse. So we'll have a look. And they're gonna open this door. First thing this morning, it said that the rain had passed and we weren't going to get any more today. Anyway, now it's raining again and we have got some more clouds on the way. So we're going to quickly put the fertiliser spreader on and spread that bag of urea fertiliser on the summer barley. This was the bag of urea dropped and it kind of like lost its shape. And I managed to get it on a pallet. So we're going to like lift it up now, slip the bottom, get it into the spreader and then spread it on the summer barley. Second load of oilseed rape just tipped now. Again, a nice another clean load. Just about wet enough. It's just over six percent. This it has to be between six and nine. First time we sampled it was a five nine nine. So we did another sample and that was a, a six three six. That's pretty good. Sam's just putting a new side plate on the chipper drum. Only sixty quid, which was surprising. Andrew's just washing off the spreader now. He's just put a bit of urea on the summer barley. So hopefully now it's washed in and starting to grow quicker. Here's a quick vid of Andrew spreading the fertilizer. Just tricking the spreader into thinking that it's that it's open, so that we can get the traps open on the bottom to clean it out properly. So what you do is you just drive and then turn it off as it's moving. 939's just brought a load of chip for us to dry. He's just going to load back up with another load. I'm just going to push the oil seed rape up. The nut has fell out of this gas strut that holds the window open. It goes across there, just like on that side. So, got another nut there. Gonna click it back on them, put it back together. Got this nut that won't undo because it's got little bars on the back of it that grip, but it won't fit in the hole because it it's actually got a hole in the plastic. But it's a hexagon shape. So, I'll go and find another nut. From a green trailer wood chip to a yellow trailer getting filled with wood chip. Gonna fill our silage trailer up now with wood chip. I believe Tom's video is out tomorrow with him using that trailer on the 936 as well. If you wanna check that out. Anyway, got a proper nut now. There we go, that should click on there now, hopefully. On the back, there we go. And then that opens on the 
button we'll click on the bottom one but i can't do it with one hand there we go fixed just moving the, using the corvus to move some of the merch to the package and distribution aka the waybridge rob's just moving our oilseed rape out of that shed where we took it put it the other day into the main shed now it's all clean and ready this is the most stressful part of the day picking the pictures Yeah, lady in the office does baby pictures. Anyway, Charlotte um, had some done with the day, well, a few weeks ago. So we've just been picking which ones and she's gonna make them up. But well, they're not cheap, because there's loads of them and you can't decide which between them. Be... Henry's just bagging and packaging everything up and we're working out exactly what quantities we've got of each. And Ian is uploading them to the website. We had a little bit of wheat the other day that hadn't been dried and then we obviously had the wheat in here that was over dried down to 8%. So we've mixed the two together. So we've, a third of this already has been blended with some of the other stuff. When it's coming out the dryer, it's 14.8, which is perfect because it needs to be 15 to sell it. It should really be 16 though, because why are we all over drying stuff? Who knows? So this is the wheat store. So this wheat has been blended and put through the dryer and cleaned. This was wheat doesn't need cutting because it was straight clean off the combine and dry. But we had rape obviously tipped in this corner. So the rape now is getting brushed up and transferred into the other shed and weighed into the other shed because that is what we call a commercial cooperative store. So we need to know the exact weights going into it and that it meets spec. So this was just tipped there quick last week when we went cutting rape before the storm because we also didn't have that shed ready because it still had some wheat left in it. So with it been a wet day, there's just stuff moving all around the yard. So that's just what we're doing. But whilst that's gone, then that wheat can be pushed back to the back of the shed that week can be pushed back to the back of the shed and we'll start filling the shed from the back to the front and then we'll also start putting in them pedestals with the fans on the top as well hopefully this shed will get somewhere something near full at the end of harvest although it holds about 2,000 ton we've got about 500 and something odd ton of wheat this year and i'll think we'll be lucky if it averages three tons per acre so this shed will not be full but we have about 1500 ton in it but at least we can store some trailers maybe in the front of it or the combine header. It was a bit of a nuisance having to dip it in the shed first, but it meant that we could get combine and oilseed rape, you know, a week, a week earlier. This is the rape store now, so some wagons have come in today, I think four or five wagons and some of our own stuff. So I think it's around 150, 170 ton in here. Don't know exactly. Ian will know because it's on a spreadsheet. But yeah, rape store is now starting to fill up which is pretty good because of the first day is always a little bit hectic and with it being a wet day, it meant that everyone's been in the yard moving stuff around, which works really well. Shed update, more of the timber has been put up around the sides. We've just got to work out the floor height now. Well, we do know it, but we've got to sort of reset it. And then we're going to put a plinth round for the straw bale walls. And then we're undecided whether to do the second bit up the top with straw bales or just insulate that in a different way. It's still undecided. But yeah, it's starting to take shape now. It looks bigger now, it's up as well. Got a load of bungee cords the other day. And now the Corvus inside the cow smells like ATS. I don't know what rubber they've used, whether it's recycled or something, but it proper smells of the, the tires in here now. Andrew is washing his tractor for about the millionth time in the last month. I'm sure it's going to change colours washing it that much. But I suppose looking like a tropical fish, it does like water. Not done a quiz question for a while. What is this on the side of the John Deere? Is it part of the, the exhaust system? Or is it an air tank? If you think you know, leave a comment below. That is about it for today. Thank you everyone that's been watching. Don't forget if you want some of the the t-shirts and the hoodies, be quick, because I don't want to spend thousands and thousands on stock. So there's only limited numbers. Once they're sold, we'll get an idea of what we need to stock, what's fast moving, what's not moving quick. Also, if you do go on the website and it has sold out, because there's only certain numbers of each size, Still fill it in because then it then sends you an email when they're back in stock and it also tells us what stock to buy. So sorry for the shameless plug about the merchandise, but people were asking for it. So that's why we're now doing it. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get out and do some field work tomorrow because the only bit of field work we've done today is a little bit of fertilizer spreading. The rest has been moving stuff around the yard from A to B and just putting some timbers on the new shed. See you tomorrow.